I really love uh, this uh, vegetation uh, that is unique to southwestern Australia because of the bizarre shapes, uh, <laughs> uh, bright colors of the flowers. Uh, and that is something that uh, is really unique to here. I'm Daniela Scacabarozzi. I'm a pollination biologist, and I'm studying the pollination strategy of different plants, moreover, orchids. I come from uh, Lake Como, in Italy. I ended up here in southwestern Australia with my husband because of our honeymoon. We really love Western Australia because uh, you have the chance to be in a, in a city but also to be surrounded by an amazing nature. Today we are at uh, Kundula Bushland Reserve, which is uh, one of the larger and uh, more intact uh, bushland reserve uh, in uh, Perth. Pollination biology is actually the study of uh, the pollination process and how the pollinators are attracted to the flowers and how the flowers uh, invent and have adapted different strategies for attracting the pollinators. Orchids for me are a very deep passion uh, that I cultivated since I was a child. I studied biology. In particular, then I chose uh, botany as a specialization. When I was working in a, a regional park in Italy, we started a project and uh, that involved uh, bees. Uh, I wanted to discover this interaction uh, between uh, bees uh, and uh, native plants uh, in the park. We wanted to investigate uh, how bees uh, were able to pollinate uh, rare flora species. I had another experience uh, in the Amazon forest. That project uh, was focused on studying the pollination of native vanilla. Orchids here have different pollination strategies. The majority of them, they reward their pollinators by producing nectar. But one third of the orchids, they don't reward at all their pollinators. So basically, they deceive the pollinators. The most common strategy is a food deception. And what does it mean? Food deception is actually the strategy in which the orchids mimic other plants that produce nectar. This is an example of uh, the mimicry system of uh, the Iuris magnifica with a model pea plant. Uh, in this case, uh, is a Javesia javaricata. Let's uh, look at the similarity of the flowers. We have in the orchid, the labellum, which is the platform for the insect, which is, may resemble the wing petals here in the pea plant flower. And then we have uh, the dorsal sepal here in the orchid, which is here, that may resemble the standard petal of the pea plant flower here. When we observe the pollinator landing on the labellum on the platform, on the orchids, actually display the same behavior that displayed on the pea plant flower, where it tried to open up the wing petals here, exerting a pressure with the four legs, and did the same on the orchids too. But here we haven't any wing petals to open up. So the bees actually confuse the orchids for three model pea plants. That was an incredible moment when I, I saw the, the pollinator carrying the orchid pollen around the head. It was a kind of, a, you know, I was super, super happy. <laughs> there was just an hypothesis at the beginning, but by seeing, by observing that, was uh, the proof uh, of the strategy. We saw during this uh, research uh, that uh, the orchids have a uh, multiple interaction with uh, other life forms. So when we look at the orchid, actually we are looking at 
all of these relationships with the entire ecosystem. So once uh, we affect uh, a single and fragile relationship, actually the whole ecosystem will be impacted. And that's what I uh, also would like to reveal by studying them, is uh, the ecological uh, meaning of uh, these uh, amazing plants. I enjoy every single moment that I spend here in uh, the bush, and I have the chance every time I'm, I'm here, I feel really grateful.